Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome once again uh, to Celebrating Act Two. And uh, we're, as usual, uh, pleased to welcome our regular contributor, Dr. Liz Lister, MD, MPH, uh, who is a hormone expert, as well as a number one international best-selling author. Dr. Liz, we've got questions for you today. Wonderful. Bring it on. Good morning. Uh, and my first question is, so somebody comes to you for hormone therapy and you start giving them uh, things to take to help improve their lot, the way they feel. Does that mean that they're going to be taking uh, certain compounds for the rest of their life? Uh, what's the normal way this works? That is the top question that I get from uh, probably 100% of patients that I take care of. The first step is getting to feeling better. So when people have symptoms like fatigue or weight gain or cognitive issues, forgetfulness, and we know that it's related to low levels of hormones, this first step is getting people feeling better, getting symptom relief. Okay, so that's part one. Then part two is what do we want to do in the long run? We know that, that hormone replenishment is safe in the long run. However, people generally don't need the kind of doses that they need to correct and feel better initially the vast majority of people don't need to stay on those doses long term. They can go down on the doses later on. And by later, I encourage people to give it at least a year, a couple of years, maybe even longer, because I want them to stay feeling good as long as possible before trying to uh, back down on, on any part of their program that got them feeling better in the first place. Uh, Dr. Liz, are people, is there a fear factor w when you say hormones? Yeah. Do people react negatively? Absolutely. In fact, sometimes I call it the H word, hormones. <laughs> you know, like you the can dirty. just see their kind of like, uh, eyes roll up in their head. Like if I'm speaking to a room full of people, they get a little worried about that because people don't have heard so much bad press over the last 15, 20 years. And sadly, that information came from a study that we now have a lot more studies, large studies that are showing that the problems that were discovered in the 2003 big hormone study in the United States were because of the actual hormones that were being used and not because of hormones in general. We are now slowly, we've slowly gotten back to realizing the incredible benefits of hormones and replenishing hormone levels and the safety of the ones that we can use uh, to help people feel good and, uh, and not increase their risks of cancer or heart disease or anything that we don't want. Sure. And I, I would imagine that part of that is working with a doctor you trust and monitoring and um, dealing with it on a regular basis so you can measure everything. Exactly. That's exactly right. A lot of doctor, a lot of doctors aren't, uh, they're just not up to date. It's hard to stay up to date nowadays. However, especially with hormones, a lot of doctors learned, okay, hormones are bad and they never learned all the data that's come out in the last 17 years uh, to debunk that and to show that it absolutely is safe, that people think better, they feel better, their mood is better, they're nicer to their families, nicer to their spouses and partners, and uh, their metabolism works better, all kinds of benefits that people can accomplish uh, without, like we were saying, without increasing their risks. By the way, I, I'd like to uh, add that I think that um, uh, I've been following you for years as an OBGYN, but only the last couple of years since you uh, now segued into hormone therapy as your primary practice after taking additional courses in that area. Uh, and I've just been following you with fascination. I like the way you write. I like the way you present. So I've been following you with that. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of this um, anti-concern anti, uh, about hormone therapy uh, happened because of 
baseball scandals with people taking steroids and hitting, you know, a uh, hundred uh, home runs and getting uh, heads that were much too big for their hats. Uh, and I don't mean in an ego way, but in a physical way. And I think people have been uh, leery of uh, things like hormone therapy, the H word, uh, because they're thinking of that, right. which I think is That's probably, right. uh, uh, could not be further from the truth, but it, it left a bad taint in, in the world. That's exactly right. And I want our listeners to know that all of that came from number one, 10, 20 or more times proper dosing. That's number one. Number two is using what are non bioidentical hormones. So they're using synthetic steroid hormones, they're using anabolic steroid hormones which do cause the body to break down in the long run. We've, we've seen that with some of the athletes that used to abuse those growth, uh, growth hormone enhancing, per performance enhancing drugs. Uh, you know, I always say that eventually it's just going to be considered unfair that only teenagers can win gold medals. Okay, because they have a naturally high level of growth hormone that goes down as we get older. But those athletes were using 20 times proper dosing and not being monitored and using medications prepared who knows in what country with what kind of quality control. And uh, that's not good. That is not good. So it has to be proper dosing. The right forms of the hormones, the bioidentical forms are the ones that are good for us. And we can have enhancement in how we feel and how our body functions without using those over the top doses. That's the good news. Great information, Dr. Liz. Thank you. Well, I, I think that um, uh, I'm glad that we were able to clear this up for a lot of people. It, if you uh, are, are feeling a, just not yourself anymore and you've been to your doctor and every your normal GP and everything is within normal range, maybe it's time to go visit at least uh, drlizmd.com, see what uh, Dr. Liz has to say. And uh, uh, you have a, uh, you basically have a virtual practice so that m many of your patients uh, are online. So uh, if you, you're feeling a little uh, under the weather, long period of time, maybe it's time to check your hormones and see what's going on with you. Thank you. And in between, visiting Dr. Liz online, go to uh, our YouTube channel. It's YouTube slash Celebrating Act Two, and you'll see all her videos, uh, some of which will be coming up, Liz, because we expect to talk to you again very soon. Right, and you can binge, you can binge watch Dr. Liz uh, when you're tired of Saturday Night Reruns, uh, Saturday Night Live reruns, and uh, the Netflix <laughs> is a little uh, furry. Our YouTube channel is always uh, there strong for you. And we do have a playlist for Dr. Liz. Thank you again, Dr. Liz. See you soon. Wonderful. See you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.